Reestablishing Global Equilibrium. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 538. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our July 16th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is reestablishing global equilibrium. And if you're somebody that's been paying attention, the world right now is definitely not experiencing equilibrium. We are rapidly destroying ecosystems. We have poisoned our water. We've poisoned our air. We're poisoning our food intentionally, which is bizarre. We're doing a lot of things that are really um, disrupting this one planet that we all share. There is no planet B. (laughs) This is planet A. And the planet, there is no planet B. And so, you know, reestablishing global equilibrium is something that is necessary. The time has come to create this because we have the ability to create this amazing world, you know, that that meets the needs of all of its residents and can work in cooperation, collaboration and stepping into our ability to be true earth stewards, to steward this planet and to regenerate this planet and to address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come through an open source and free shared model designed to do just that. And so one community's goal and our and what we're creating for reestablishing global equilibrium are the tools, the plans and the step-by-step instructions to achieve it. And they address they they are for everything that you see happening in the background of this video and so much more addressing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization, the physical foundations of sustainability which we've identified as food energy and housing everybody knows those they're the foundations really of survival nowadays and the emotional foundations of sustainability which we've identified as fulfilled living what we call high good approaches to education economics and true earth stewardship stewarding it all and putting all of this together to create a new model of living that will provide a better way of living than most people are experiencing right now founded on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition and design such that the more that it helps humanity, the more that it gives, the more regenerative it is, regenerative it is, the more successful it will be. And so to demonstrate we that we are all about open sourcing and free sharing everything that it is that we're creating, the, the approaches to the food, the energy, the housing, as well as the fulfilled living, the education models, the economic, economic models, and the stewardship models, all of this designed to reestablish global equilibrium by demonstrating how people working together can be so much more efficient, so much more abundant, can be regenerative in our ways of living, as opposed to the every person for themselves paradigm that is so inefficient. And so through working together, through things like a resource-based economy, through things like cooperative living and collaborative living, we've developed a model designed to provide more time for people to do the things that they want to do and built directly into the fabric of the organization. What it is that we're creating is the fulfilled living and growth model designed to give more people things, more things for those people to do with all the additional free time that they have. Eliminating most of the bills through the food, energy, and housing models and the education models while simultaneously freeing up free time by eliminating things like commutes and and a lot of the time and energy that is spent on common daily practices like home maintenance, laundry, child care, commute to and from work, all this stuff, and then providing more things to do within the environment through the fulfilled living model. You know, so reestablishing global equilibrium from our perspective starts with reestablishing human equilibrium, balance for the individual. And then sharing that as a model for world change, you know, and so and providing a uniquely meaningful life experience to do that, 
you know, for how to do that, what, and showing people exactly what that is. And then again, open sourcing and free sharing, all the plans, the, the, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions for replicating all of this and creating a complete immersive environment and a grassroots movement for building these types of communities that don't just teach a person to fish, they teach teachers how to teach fishing, right? That old adage of don't give a person a fish, teach a person to fish. No, we can do better than that. We can teach a person, teach people how to teach fishing, a self-replicating model for world change designed to bring together people with common values and common goals and to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what One Community is doing, and we are trailblazing a path to global change through open source plans for the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living, the education, the economic models, and the stewardship models, all of them put together to build One Community as a place where people can experience what it is that I'm talking about and see what reestablishing global equilibrium looks like on the micro scale and open sourcing and free sharing it so that it can be replicated on the macro scale, on the global scale as well and building a global cooperative and making it so that each component can be replicated individually on the micro scale you know so that people can take any any aspect of what is it we're doing and build just a piece of the housing infrastructure if they're not interested in complete teacher demonstration hubs designed to transform the world or building a community of of people working and cooperating and collaborating together and running a resource-based economy and all the benefits of these things that i've talked about in other videos if they just want to build themselves a guest house or maybe they want to grow something they've never grown before or maybe they just want to uh, run a home-based education program or a community-based education program in their communities what we're designing is is developed for that as well you know, or maybe it's for disaster relief or something like that, like the food infrastructure that we're building and the model for feeding, you know, 50 people in a, in a remote location for the initial construction, as an example, 50 to 100 people could be applied anywhere in any type of situation. You know, and so if you look at all the different open source plans we're doing, they're all designed like that. So our idea for reestablishing global equilibrium is to provide something for everyone, right? And we can do this. We can do this, can't we? Yes, we can. Yes, we absolutely can. You know, and so this is what open sourcing uh, everything is about for one community. It's about open sourcing everything for reestablishing global equilibrium and looking as everything not only as interconnected, but as interdependent and recognizing that addressing the challenges of our planet uh, individually is just putting bandage bandages and band-aids on problems instead of really creating solutions and so we're addressing the complete human experience sustainably and developing it as a model that will be regenerative and provide a way of living that's way better than the way people are living right now so and we're doing this as 100 percent volunteer organization because we want to live this way and we want to see other people be able to live this way and as a non-profit organization as a non-governmental organization and um creating this because we see a world that works for everybody within our lifetime as completely possible through a self-replicating replicating model like this. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough to spread on its own. And so that's what our open source plans are all about. So if you'd like to help, it's designed so that anybody who wants to help can help. Visit our helping page to see all the different ways that you can do that. Uh, if you like the easiest way to help, like and subscribe. Uh, if you like a weekly dose of positivity like this in your email inbox, you can subscribe through our website to our weekly newsletter. We send out one email a week with uh, these weekly progress updates. And um, yeah, if you'd like to see what our all-volunteer team has accomplished within the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog. And of course, if you'd like to access all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, the do-it-yourself instructions, all the different aspects that we work on, the tens of thousands of hours of work that we've put into creating open source solutions, visit our website. This is what we're up to. This is our idea for reestablishing global equilibrium. Everybody's invited to participate. And of course, uh, stick around for a couple more minutes if you'd like to see all the major bullet points and all the major components of our project. And until next week, we will keep on keep it on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models.
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.